Hi friends, I hope you had a good day. Um, we're going to read a story now. It says, Poppy, how many stars are in the sky? And it was written by Angel Vigil and illustrated by Adil Amid and Martin James. Whenever they visited their grandparents, Ariana, Carlos, Maria gathered after dinner to listen to their grandfather's stories. On warm nights, they sat on the porch with grandfather rocking peacefully in, in his old wooden rocking chair. He always waited until dark to begin. Like children everywhere, the children had a favorite story. And like grandparents everywhere, the grandfather never is tired of telling it. That night was a perfect night for that story. As they looked up at the evening sky, just beginning to fill with bright, shiny stars, the children began to chant, Poppy! How many stars are in the sky? Poppy gazed lovingly at each of his guilt grandchildren and asked them, How many do you think? Carlos raised his arms to the starry darkness, saying, There must be a zillion zillion. The grandfather laughed heartily. Well, my, that is pretty close. Maybe we'd better come count them, but I have to tell you the story about the stars and why they are in the sky. And knowing the story was about to begin, the children pulled themselves even closer to their grandfather. Ariana nestled comfortably in his lap while the other children leaned against his legs. Just hid, he had countless times before, Poppy gazed toward the stars and pointed to, pointed his weathered finger. You see, me has, Every time a child is born, a new star is added to the sky, and that star shines forever for the child. That is why there are so many bright, shining stars. Every child is a gift from the universe, and each star tells the story of a child's life. As they listen, the children dreamily search the starry sky, imagining all the children in the world and they secretly tried to find the stars that were theirs the bright stars telling the stories of their lives their grandfather's soothing voice continued if you look around you can imagine this the stars make pictures we can tell stories about the pictures since tonight is a fall night we can see fall animals. You see over there a bear that once chased your father in the forest. Can you see the ladle toward the back of the bear? That tells the story of the delicious stew your mother makes for you. Over there is a lizard like the one I once caught at the water pond. And through the middle of it, it all runs the bright starry path of the Milky Way, leading you back home if you ever get lost. Knowing their favorite part of the story was nearing, the children repeated the chorus. Papa, how many stars are in the sky? Patiently, the grandfather began. Well, let's count them. Ariana, you count. Sweetly, Ariana looked up at the sky with her steady eyes and proudly proclaimed, Look, a big one. As the children smiled, the grandfather lovingly answered, Yes, Ariana, 
You are right. There is one big star in the sky. Does anyone else want to count the stars in the sky? Poppy asked. Carlos answered, I'm learning to count in school. Let me count. One star, two star, three stars, four stars, five stars, six stars, seven stars, eight stars, nine stars, ten stars. With a deep laugh, the grandfather said, yes, Carlos, there are ten stars in the sky. But if we keep counting like that, we will never go to bed. Maria, do you want to count? Maria counted carefully. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Shall I keep counting, Poppy? Chuckling softly, the grandfather said, Well, what do you think, children? Should Maria keep counting? But the children knew that their grandfather had finally reached their favorite part. Together they shouted, Poppy, you count. You tell us how many stars are in the sky. With his calm voice, the grandfather said, Mijos, look at the stars in the night sky. All my life I've been counting the stars in the sky. And now I finally know that there are... Cinquenta stars in the sky. The children howled with delight. Cinquenta? Fifty? There are more than fifty. And just as he'd been countless times before, the grandfather shook his head, saying, Not the number Cinquenta, which does mean fifty, but the words cinquenta, which mean infinity, that means there are so many stars that you can't count them all. Ooh, look at that. Your lives are like that too. There are so many things you can do or be, you can't count them all. Just like you can't count all the stars, there are no limits. And as he put his grandchildren to bed, the grandfather sang a lullaby to them. He sang it in Spanish just as he had heard it sung when he was a child. And I can't sing the Spanish words, so I have the song for you. So that grandfather sang the lullaby as he put his grandchildren to bed. It said, later, snugly tucked in their beds, the children thought of their grandfather's story and all the beautiful stars in the sky. As they fell asleep, they dreamed of the many adventures their lives could hold. So this was a very nice book about the stars in the sky and the children and everything they can do and be but um there's a lot of spanish words in here that miss paula wasn't good with so i just read the english words in the book and then i played the spanish song at the end of the, the story for you all right friends i'll talk to you later bye